Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be showing you how to create your own Y map. In the last video we showed we showed you how to install uh, Y maps onto your 5M server, which we have right here. Now I got ahead and I deleted all of them out. That was just a test. Um, but I'm showing you, like, the folder is empty, but I'm going to show you how to do it uh, in a way where we keep all of our Y maps and stuff in one nice organized folder. So, what we're gonna do first is I've downloaded a a mod and I've extracted it. And f hell yeah, all the all the ads are back. But it is the Forest of San Forest of San Andreas, and it is really really cool. It's a really really nice uh nice add on. We'll show you how to install this into your server. And since this is a mod for the game, we don't actually have access to any of the Y maps at the moment. They are all here in this folder. We have optional stuff like abandoned red car, forest generator, scenario, blah, 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 blah. Which, what is this? Uh, it's just blips more stuff to add into regular GTA at least at the moment that's how it's set up uh, we can do complete redwood cedar everything is the the same with a DLC RPF so that's where open IV comes in we've installed it and in we uh, I left a download link for you to install in a previous video I actually have it still open but in today's video what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be using it and utilizing it for the very first time in a way that we haven't utilized it before. So, let's pop open our resource folders here, our server and everything. I'm gonna go into our YMAP folder stream and I'm going to call this Forests of San Andreas. Cause that's what this is going to be. So we got Forests of, we'll make it all lowercase. Forests of San, <coughs> oh, excuse me if I can spell. San A N D R E A S. Forest of San Andreas. And this is where we're going to be putting all of our Y maps. So, now we need to open up OpenIV. Launch it for Grand Theft Auto 5, because that's all we're going to be launching it for in this series is Grand Theft Auto. And once we have it open up like this, we go File open archive and as you can see I've already opened it up to do the test but you'll load you'll go to where it's where you have it downloaded for me I just have it saved to my desktop so we'll open up forest to San Andreas we'll go into trees I like the mixed one and I like to do the one with cedar so we go into here we open up the DLC RPF we'll go into x64 levels GTA 5 I believe it's far yep so then you want to go into forest metadata. You want to go into the metadata one. And as you can see here, we have all of our Y maps, which this gives us everything we need. We don't need to worry about the manifest.yml. All we need are the map files. So click on the one at the top, scroll all the way down to the bottom, hit shift, select them all. And then what we're going to do so we are going to drag and drop them into our forests of San Andreas. And it will extract all of them out. As you can see, we have all of our Y maps here. Now, in the last video, uh, I released a fixed version of the Sandy Alive. So I'll show you super quick how I did this. In case anything is to arise, I'll leave a link down below in the description to this for you guys to download and utilize yourself. So once your world loads up, it gives you a 3D model of Grand Theft Auto V's world. Pop that guy out here because we will need that. Hit T. We'll go File, Open YMAP File. It'll bring us to our desktop. We scroll until we see... 
At least mine brings us to the desktop. We'll scroll until we see 5M tutorial server. We'll go into resources. We will grab our YMAP resource stream, Forest to San Andreas, and we'll do we'll do Forest's one. We'll load Forest one YMAP in. Has 706 entities. I will drag that off to the side here. And we will zoom our way out of the city. You'll experience those texture losses. Don't worry. And let's see which one is Forest's one. Okay, I'm assuming it's probably, it's not city. Aha, it's this area. Let me zoom in hella far, make this a little bit easier. It's not city, this is up in Polito area. So, one, ah, shit. One cool thing we can do with this, if we go to Y Maps, and we get our selection tool, we can select different things, and we can actually like raise and lower them, manipulate them how we want, move them around, and save or just completely using our file editor over here. It'll highlight the cedar tree, and we can completely delete the entity and it disappears. So that's what I did in order to fix the other thing. No, no, I don't want to save anything. So that's what I did to completely fix up the the YMAP file for our world. Now I'm just going to, in case something did happen, I'm just going to delete those guys and drag them back in just to make sure we have all the original YPF files or YPF YMAP files and now Keep in mind you still have your YMAP folder set up from the previous tutorial All we have to do now is start up the server And as you can see start at resource YMAP and start up 5m and everything should work just fine We'll jump into game and we'll see that we have, you know, complete Forest of San Andreas completely covered. And in the next tutorial after this one, um, we will cover implementing a menu and how you want to go about. Um, I'll leave one down in the description that we'll cover and how to customize that one. They're all pretty much identical to how you customize them, but I will leave a link down below in the next in the next one for whatever uh, menu we do decide to to edit and I'll pick that out in between episodes so you can see that's already a good sign when we had that flash and it's been constantly raining every time I launch up the world so let's just get ourselves a car and we'll drive around a little bit, make sure we'll grab ourselves a coil voltic. Just to show you guys that we do, in fact, have full custom trees and everything, and that they are working beautifully. That is a head on collision. <laughs> So we'll just drive out to, to Harmony real quick, just to give this a, a test. I love this add-on so, so much. It just makes the game look so much better. I wish GTA would have actually have done this. We'll cut over here through the yellow jack. But you've seen this exact road in my GTA 5 RP videos that I do over on my main channel. But this just looks amazing with all of our with all of our new custom trees added in. 
There should be a road up here we can take. Yes, this dirt road here. So you can see it just covers the entirety of the map. And it also adds in some some other little things up throughout the area. But yeah, it gives us just such a nicer forest to drive through. So guys, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will leave a link down below in the description for the uh, file that we used. So guys, thank you so much for watching again. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow for another tutorial. Goodbye.